Hey there, website wizards and business enthusiasts. Today we're unlocking the power of customer trust with a game changer, Google Reviews widget for your website. Wondering how to boost credibility, increase conversions, and showcase your stellar reputation? Look no further. In this video, we'll guide you through the simple steps of embedding Google Business Reviews directly onto your website, turning your online space into a testament to customer satisfaction. From building trust with potential clients to improving your website's SEO, incorporating Google reviews brings a plethora of benefits. Plus, it's the ultimate way to let your satisfied customers do the talking. Ready to amplify your online presence and stand out from the crowd? Let's dive in and harness the power of authentic customer feedback. In this video, you will learn step-by-step -step how to create a Google reviews widget for your website. The first step is signing up on the website that lets you create an embeddable Google review widget. Click the link in description of this video and create your free account and then follow the steps. Find the Google Reviews app from your catalog home. Click on it and you will be redirected to the widget builder. Now you can find several templates as well as their live preview on the builder. Click on the mobile phone icon to preview it on a mobile device. As you see, you can play with the widget while building the widget. There are several templates based on different layouts and designs. Select one and click on the continue with this template button. Once you have chosen a template, you will be able to add your Google business to the builder so that it can fetch all customer feedback. Depending on number of reviews, time for it may vary. Once all reviews are loaded, they will appear on the widget builder. As you see, reviews have been updated on the screen and new settings appeared on the left panel. The first one you will encounter is the AI-generated summary. This is a feature that will add an overview to the review widget. You can turn it on or off. You can also filter reviews easily based on minimum rating, keyword, and author. This is a helpful feature to automatically remove unwanted feedback or reviews with low ratings. 
Use the Include filter to display selected Google reviews to your widget. Once you have added the review source and set up filters, the next step is setting up the layout of your Google Reviews widget. There are several layouts and you can customize each one to adjust columns, padding, animation, etc., all without needing any coding knowledge. These layouts are carousel, grid, list, masonry, badge, floating badge, and slider. You click each and see it live on the preview. Change the view to mobile mode to see how it might appear on mobile devices. Once you have selected and customized the layout, you can also change the width of the Google Reviews widget. You can also show or hide specific elements like number of reviews, rating, and write a review button.
On the review panel, you can select a review style as well as show or hide elements such as review source, images, business owner's reply, and verified badge. Use it to customize widget and how the details should be appeared. You can also fully change the appearance of your Google Business Reviews widget easily, all without needing CSS coding skills. The first option you will see the color scheme options light and dark. The light theme is best for white background websites and dark is most suited for dark background sites. The accent color option changes the overall colors of the widget. You can select one from the list of available colors or choose a custom color from the color picker. Choose a font family or select the default option to apply font used in your website. Want more customization options? No worries, there are more. You can change appearance on the element level. For example, for the background, you can make it transparent and use a color, gradient, image, or video. And there are many ways you can customize each element, changing fonts, sizes, borders, alignment, and more.
Use the custom CSS field to add your own styles to customize widget further. Translate the widget by changing the default language, which is English or US. Changing languages won't change the language of reviews but widget's content. Once you have customized the widget, preview it on mobile, rename it and publish to get the embed code. Close the editor and your browser will be directed to the Google Reviews Widget Manager. On this page, you can see all created widgets as well as manage them. Click on the Install button to get the embed code. Copy and use it on your website. Paste code snippet within the body tag to display Google Reviews on your website. For step-by-step -step assistance, check out the article in the description of the video. Thanks for watching! I hope this video helped you to understand how to create a Google Reviews widget for your website using a third-party tool. If you have any questions, drop them below. Please consider liking and sharing this video with your friends if you find it useful. And don't forget to subscribe us to receive notifications on future video tutorials like this.